You know, you, you go through, you got du you, Douglas Fairbanks, you got your Lawrence Olivier. I mean, <laughs> I mean, inside the movies, uh, Charlie Chaplin and Mika. Wow. Um, well, I yes. don't know. It's hard for me to even say this because I get I get really emotional <laughs> about it. Uh huh. Because yeah. I've known him for so long, and yeah. we have he's like a member of the family. But I to know. see mm -hmm. our boy, <laughs> to see our boy <laughs> <laughs> hit the big time. Our hold baby. on a second. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's gonna oh be my all God! Right, I'm honey. gonna. I'm going to start the Nixonian flop sweat again. It's all I'm right, just the really sweat. Just make sure there isn't <sighs> tissue sticking to your face because I'm not there for you. <laughs> okay, he always, right there, he always has, yeah. Now that. Can we just tell, can we tell people off. other things as I'm trying to connect with Willie? <laughs> ah, trying. he's such a sweet child. So he's such a sweet child. But yeah. he's hit the big time in the USA. He is our honey pie. And here, here is a clip from Curb Your Enthusiasm mm. to give you an idea, a little idea about what I'm talking about. I'm a little jelly. Mm. All right, well, I think this is going to work pretty well. You and I will talk in the interview, be loose like yeah, this. You okay, tell your yeah, story. Yeah, just like this. Okay, that's the, all right. I think yeah. if it's all right with you, we can do it here. There's a lot of beautiful space. Great. I've uh, been talking to a bunch of people. Everybody's got something to say about you. <laughs> Although one person did call you an ass. Huh? Do it in here. What? Who? Who? Who, 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 called me, who called me that? Curious. Larry, we're not going to do this, okay? I don't give up my sources. I need you to respect my journalistic integrity. Journalistic right now. integrity? Where's the integrity of telling me that somebody called me an ass? Is there integrity there? It's a small part of a larger story. I have to tell the full picture. But it's a universal fact that everybody is called an ass. I'm sure Mother Teresa was called an ass by someone. Oh, I doubt that. Larry. Oh, I know. I don't doubt no. it. Somebody must have said, oh, she's so good, she's so good. What an ass. So, Eric, somebody must please. have said that. Oh, look at Miss Perfect, helping the lepers. You know, come on. And I'm not giving you the source, so we can just drop it, Larry. That's it. That's it. All right, you know what? You don't have to give me the source. I know who it was. It was, you Ted, don't know. It was Ted Danson. Yeah. I just saw that. I just saw no. That. that. No? That's a tell. That was a look away. I saw it. That's not a look away. That's a let's move along. That's it. It's not Ted. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, okay, forget it. I know who it was. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Who do you think it is? It was Troy, the deaf actor at the club. Troy Kotzer, the guy who won the Oscar yeah. for Coda? Yeah, yeah. I hit him with a golf ball what? because I couldn't yell four, and I, I threw a bagel at him, too. What, do you think he signed to me that you're an ass? Totally, yeah. <laughs> Larry, let me ask you a question, as long as we're talking about the club. Sure, yeah. Are you disgruntled? <laughs> disgruntled? Yeah. You know about disgruntled? When a guy puts a note on the locker room door and there's a fight inside the club, there's something there. I am most certainly not disgruntled with a capital D. I'm disgruntled with a small D, Willie. How could you be a human being and not be small D disgruntled? Well, you're coming at me with some big D disgruntled energy right here. I am not big D. Little D all the way. You sure about that, Larry? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, Mika, I mean, I'm thinking, thank you. When are the Emmys? Listen, when are the Emmys? I, I don't, I don't know. Is that more Got a rent Brando? Tops. On the water it's front, so good. is it is it Mickelson and Chinatown? It was commanding. Mm -hmm. Hoffman and Meryl Streep and Kramer. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He owns yeah. the screen. It's like nobody else is there. Sorry, Larry. <clears throat> really, this is well, uh, what, what, what this is your new career, my son. Well, I, this I don't want this is I, your future. I don't want to give away too much of the plot because people watch it all week, but. Um, Let's just say I was there for a couple of days, and as I watched on Sunday night, I was uh, surprised at how much they actually used. It's a, it's a lot of, of me in the episode. But it was, as you guys know and have seen, to go there 
and be on that set and watch behind the scenes in person the genius, truly, truly the genius that is Larry David and his executive producer and director, Jeff Schaefer, who was a writer on Seinfeld, his right hand man, to watch them cut a take and then go in, lean in and say, what if you said this? What if you did this? Because there really is so much ad lib on the show. It was truly just like a pure honor and a privilege to even be there, so let fun. alone to, yeah. to show up on the, mm. the episode. That's so and, great. And he com completely eclipsed Larry. He just, Mika, <laughs> we love Larry. <laughs> little D. Little D. Come really? on. Little D. All right. Really? Yeah. No. Little D dominant. Yes. <laughs> really, really, really. Big D dominant. <laughs> fucking man. I don't know. Okay. Congratulations. That's amazing. I can't wait Congratulations. to watch it. It's really good. Yeah.